comes open. Hi guys, I'm Rusty Dog. Welcome to Contraband Police. This is the demo, and what's it doing now? Oh, it's just gone off my screen. Right. Um, yeah, this is the demo. I've just I've just clicked it. I've just started it. Um, the game is available on Steam. I think I got it off Steam. But this is a free demo, so I'm going to check it out. So, just to show you guys that this is uh, the, my first go. This, let's have a look at uh, the keys. So, we're sad. Mm, crouch, left control, okay. Sprint, left shift, okay. E, interaction, space, jump, mouse, zero. Duty folder, okay. F for flashlights. Probably prefer L, but F's right next to my finger, so that's okay. Okay, Alpha Zero. I suppose they mean numpad for that, right? I don't know, maybe. So Q to drop item as opposed to D because it's in use. So Q to drop item, T to throw item, inventory. Why would I be dropping and throwing? Reload, I don't know. So I think, I think the uh, idea of this, guys, is that I am the contraband police and I've got to search vehicles. Some will be normal people going through the border and some will be um, carrying stuff and I took to me to find it. Sensitivity, I'm going to leave it as it is because I don't know what to change yet. The music sounds really nice, very calming, but I'm going to take it off anyway for now. So, video, what do we have? Borderless is good. It's just having to reset that. Uh, resolution, no, we want to take it right to the top for me. Field of view, 55, okay, I'll leave it like that for now. Video ultra, V-Sync, yes, why not? Um, okay, let's see what happens. Please don't let there be loads of flashing lights, day one and day two. Obviously there's gonna be more content in the actual game, but this will give me an idea of uh, what to expect. Do, 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 So the Karikatia border crossing in Akarist, <laughs> these made up names, 1981. Wash your shirt, man. You had never heard of laundry. <laughs> Look at the arms. Bloody Popeye. Looks like we're here. If there's any stuttering in the video, guys, don't worry, it's not the game. I'm just uh, encoding a video in the background. So, yeah, uh, don't worry about that. Okay, so I just pressed E there. I'm already right ahead of you. Uh, thanks for the lift, uh, whatever your name is. Yep, you can go now. What the hell have you got going on in your face? I will explain you. Go to the office and check facts. Facts. Oh, it is 1981. It is your responsibility to follow these orders for letting anyone in. Is that the office? Because, oh, okay. Uh, how am I getting in more jumbo this way? The car wait in there already. He's gonna have to wait until I've. Uh... Oh. Oh well, at least the nice of them to clean up for me eh, before I come. That's good. Where's this fax machine? Yeah. 
Handle three vehicles correctly. <laughs> Such complex orders. Name and surname, expiration date. Oh, I forgot what the date was today. Okay, so 16th of the 4th. So if any, if any date on the papers is before this date, 16th of April, then, some, then the papers are out of order. Passport number. Oh my God, this is quite complicated. This field appears on every document. The values must be the same. Look for spelling errors. Oh, all right, spelling errors. Okay, make sure that the papers are not forged. This field appears, expiration date. This field appears on the passport and the entry permit documents. Compare with the calendar and check if the documents have expired. Well, the calendar's at the bottom here, as you can see. This uh, passport number, this field appears on the passport and the entry permit document. So they have to match. Check if the stamp on the passport is compatible with the country specific options in the duty handbook. Um, yeah. Okay, this is the duty handbook. Check the stationary type for all documents except the entry permit. It must conform to the country. Specific scheme found in the duty handbook. Select each paper background by pressing document name. Jesus. Make sure that the vehicle name is consistent with its description in duty handbook. In the actual state. Vehicle weight. Check if the current weight of the vehicle exceeds the permissible weight. Additionally, check if the maximum weight from the registration document complies with the vehicle description. I feel like I should be getting paid for this. Compare the driver's face with the passport photo. They must be identical. <laughs> registration number. Compare the vehicle's license plates with the data on the vehicle card. God, no wonder there's always queues at the borders. Remember to check both license plates if present. Cargo. When goods are being transported, the driver must have a valid shipping document. Check whether the goods appearing in the cargo list are in accordance with the correct state, current state. Damage control. Some vehicles may arrive in poor technical condition. Technical? Mechanical, I think you mean, right? Anyway, mark the exact number of defects found on your inspection report for an additional reward. Poor technical state. Hey, but look, look, if you've got poor, poor technical condition on your vehicle, take, I've, got a, I've got a workshop, Rusty's workshop in car mechanics. So you can take it there, I'll fix it up for you. Maybe even add a few performance parts. Uh, anyway, mark the exact number of defects found in the vehicle report when it's reward. Pure, poor technical state is not a reason for entry refusal. Uh, remember that in, incorrectly filed reports means a penalty, or incorrectly filled reports. Oh dear, broken windows, broken lights. Sorry guys, I had to yawn there. Um, broken lights, missing mirrors, missing bumpers. Defected bodywork. Defected? What, so the wing has, like, defected to another country? <laughs> defected bodywork. Uh, broken cabin lights. Contraband detection. Smugglers can hide contraband in many different parts of the vehicle. And sometimes also in the goods being transported. In most cases, in order to recover contraband, you have to use the appropriate tool on the selected object. Remember that unjustified destruction of vehicles will result in a fine. Yeah, right. I've got all my, my cop friends to back me up. Um, check the suspect board regularly for the latest news from our informants. Uh, this chapter presents photos from our previous inspections. Uh, tools, right, there are various types of tools you can use to recover contraband depending on where it is hidden. <laughs> yeah, like axes and blades and bullets. Jesus. 
great cops. Uh, okay, tools can also be used as weapons during this. It's probably not right me using the word term cops, but you know, authority. You can buy them in various places in the area, e.g. in Vlad's shop. <laughs> of course, go and see Vlad. He's going to have some blades and blunt weapons and axes and bullets just to get those boxes open, you know? Great stuff. I'll rip the seats. Okay. Yeah. So we need an axe or a, or a... Who's taking an axe to a seat, for God's sake? And why is there a mouth on the bottom of the seat there? It's got teeth. Anyway, same thing for this, for the headliner. I'm assuming that's the headliner. And then so we can smash lights out. We can even shoot a light out, okay. <laughs> Take it. Yeah. Imagine axing the, the back, the rear quarter of a car off. Good luck doing it with a truncheon. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, lights, fuel tank. Yeah, fine. Just don't be smoking a cigarette if you do that, though. Tires. Crates. Yeah, I get the idea. Barrels. Sacks. There's the, you've got the cigarettes in the sacks there. Just in case someone's bringing a toilet through. Akaristan is a country located between made-up name and made-up other name. Through the middle passes the mountain massif called made-up name. It is also a legend, legendary place where the eagle defecated, oh sorry, defeated the bear. Where the eagle defeated the bear, the origin of the people... I hope this isn't a real place, because I'm going to get... Yeah, anyway, the legend says the Catan, w w first legendary ruler of Akaristan, hunted an eagle and ate his heart. Jesus, he must have been hungry. Uh, as a result, he possessed his courage, perceptiveness and strength. Bloody hell, he should have ate the whole bird. Uh Right, so a Castrian, a Karistan stamps is an eagle in a circle, an eagle in a thing me shape. Sept what is a six sided shape called? Hexagon, septagon, he hexagon, or whatever. Uh, and uh, a squarey sunshine. Public of Kagastam. Okay, I don't need to know about that. So there's these things, and then we have... Oh, I hope I'm going to be... It's easy to find the pages. So this is the stationery that the document should come on then, right? These are the trucks. We've got all the weights. We've got everything we want in here. I'm going to have to keep consulting this then all the time. Okay, and this is doesn't do anything, that doesn't do anything, so it's two o'clock. All right, what does this do? Oh, that goes back to the beginning, fair enough. Okay, now how do I get out of this? Escape, or tab again. Pull the lever to invite the first driver for the border control. Hold on, hold on, right, pull the lever. All right. You mean this? I don't know what you mean. Hey! Look at him looking at me! What are you staring at? Oh, this looks like a way bridge. The little Fiat 126 there. Alright, 
one, two, thirty. Okay, so now I need to go to my book. I'll go back. What was the car again? Was it? Is it this one? No. I mean, it was. It was the the, Z the Zabed thing, wasn't it? But. Ah, right, uh, uh, shut up. Oops. Every driver must have at least a passport. Okay, so. Sergei Korolov. Sergei Korolov. Akaristan. So Akaristan means. He's got to have this kind of color, that's okay. And the sunshine with the Akaristan thing, that's okay. So Sergei. I'm getting ahead of myself here, I think. Vehicle type is a Zaved. Maximum weight, 1, 1,700. Well, he's under the weight. It's a Zaved. Uh, max weight 1700 kilograms, curb weight 1150. Date of birth 35. This expires, okay, that's okay. He was born in 35. He doesn't look 50 odd, 40 something. Okay. Passport number. Oh, wait a minute. How do I get out of this? Yep. It matches. I can't look under there. I reckon the first guy is not going to be smuggling anything. Can't check his glove box. Not digging that jacket, mate. Not digging the jacket. You are free to go. I didn't check the vehicle, but I think he's okay. Boom. Bravo, took Saya, man. After what just start. Bugger off. <laughs> All data was correct. How do you know? If you know it, if you know that if it's correct or not, what the hell am I doing here? Why can't you just... What's all this about? Anyway, right, okay, let's, let's let the next vehicle through. You can't smuggle much in a Fiat 126, but hey, we'll try. I wonder what they're going to call it. I love how the suspension goes up when they... Uh, what's this going to weigh? 0.6 grams. He's put a spoiler on the back. Yeah. Completely redundant on a car like this. Yeah, do you, do you realise um, that your spoiler on the back will only come into effect at speeds over 70 miles an hour. This car's not going to hit 70 miles an hour. Now give me your damn papers. All right, I believe that is the correct number plate. So that's matching. Entry permit. Oh, 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 oh. 
angry, angrier das and algier das. Okay, that is not matching. Oh dear, this man's in some trouble, but he doesn't know it yet. But I'm going to do him for... Yep, that matches. The entry permit is out of date. The name on the entry permit is incorrect. So the rest of it, I don't really care about whether he's got uh, things in order or not. So what do I do? Do I just say, uh, give him his papers back and just say, you know, that uh, entry is, is denied, right? On this car, the engine's in the back. Uh, so I'm going to have a look here. Obviously, it won't let me check inside the spare tyre, which is where you can hide drugs. Engine bay, yeah, not a lot you can do here. So you may not be smuggling anything, uh, whatever your name is. Uh, but uh, you need to get out the car, man. C incorrect. Expiration date is bad. Let's see if I got that right. Mierda. Never mind mierda. That's Spanish. He has to turn around and go back. So he doesn't get into trouble for having invalid papers. Oh, yeah, look at that. Correct decision. Right, this next one's smuggling something. Has to be. Has to be, has to be, right? Come on in. Yeah, he looks like he's breaking bad. All right, eh? give me your papers. Just give it back later. Oh, bit of attitude. Right, I'm going to make you wait now. Do, do, do. A little bit of an ashtray there. Okay. Da, 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 da. Just looking for weapons. Axes. Oh, a jail cell where I can put people and oh bloody Nora didn't next didn't see you there mate sorry uh, put the light on it's my way right let's inspect this douche registration number so passport number so he's in a Varilla by 4 1700 that's fine that's fine. A Karistan, these are the right colours. Uh, doesn't there have to be a match here? Isn't the passport number also written down inside here? Maybe not. So the Varilla 4x4, which sounds like a gorilla, 4x4. Maximum weight is 1700, which is correct. Okay. Uh, curb weight is 1,210, so let's go and check it out. Oh, it's night time now. Yeah, I'm keeping this guy waiting for attitude. So NSC 0475 FAR. NSC 0475 FAR. Okay, so I'm happy with the documents. They seem to be okay. Um... got no reason to can I make him get out the car
No, I don't have any particular suspicion to just start, uh, you know, ripping his, ripping the poor guy's seats up. Hmm. Trying to get on. There it is. It's quite difficult to get that bonnet selected again. Can we, we don't have a dog, we can come in and sniff. Mm. Ooh, broken window. I don't have any weapons to do any uh, thing, so I guess we're just gonna let the dude go. I'm not gonna close the back window. I wanna see if uh, that happens on its own or whatever. All right, let's have a look. Do the weight. One two ninety. Okay, so if the curve weight is one two ten, I can accept the fact that he's eighty kilos. So Oh, damn it, I didn't I didn't I didn't put the broken window down. I didn't mark the broken window. Weight seems okay. FLH one seventy seven JZ. Is that a window missing? No, because I think it would show. It would no. It no. It would show the broken glass otherwise. Snego da inara. Hey, listen, cowboy. Don't try and make small talk with me. Yeah, well, I'll make that decision, boy. Is there is there a way to uh, inspect? Jump and attack. Well, in case they're going to run. Only if you get to do that in the demo. Okay, so we've got a defective wing. The weight of the vehicle seems fine. I'm on Where's the guys? I didn't ask. FLH one seventy 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 JZ. Correct. Seven Soyanov. Correct. Kingdom of Urkai. Documents are in date. Sevin Soyanov, passport number matches. I can't, I suppose I can only take them to jail if they're actually smuggling something. So that's valid until June, that's okay. Energy reason for his trade. And finally, the Kingdom of Urukai. Now then. Okay, so grey is... Oh, it can't match it. But that's not... No, that's not a matching that with this. 
That's it. We are a match. All right, cowboy. Well, it looks like you're good to go. Um, I didn't check missing mirrors. Yeah, everyone's got that shirt on. How did I do? Ye who knows everything. Come on, give me a smuggler. I want to punch them in the face and stab them. <laughs> Sounds bad. Now, the last way of this car was 660. There you go, 660. You can't get much inside one of these things. Give me your documents! Why are you traveling to this country? I, I can't do a Russian accent, so I'm going to do a German one. Show me your... P God, he's got some long legs on him. I don't have the axe yet. I need to go to Vlad's shop, whatever the hell that is. Right, let me examine your car. Uh, looks like we have a, a flat tire on the rear. Yeah, so we have a defective tire. Two de Why are you driving with two flat tires on the rear? And a defective rear light. Oh dear, 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 dear. And a defective headlight. So defective lights, defective two rear tires. Ah, oh dear, dear, dear. What are we going to do with you? YZQ, just going to make sure front and back plates match. Okay. Wait a minute. YZQ. And the license plate is YTQ, so that's out. Now, how do I match that? Do I have to go to the car here? Well, the car's a Fiat 126. I don't think it's going to call it that, though, right? There, yeah, the micros. Um, how do I... You know when you go, like, uh, you click here, and then you click there, and it does a match? Oh, there's the car, Micros. How do I match? How do I make it say no match for the number plate? Because I already know it doesn't match. Maybe here. Registration number. With the data on the vehicle card. Remember to check both license plates, I told you, I, I knew it. Yeah, so the license plate doesn't match. It doesn't look like there's anything for me to match it with either. Um, but yeah, this guy's not getting through. So if we press E. So flat tires, two of those, two broken lights. I honestly didn't check the mirrors or the cabin lamp. I suppose that lights up the car when you uh, when you open the door. Registration number is not valid. Entry denied, mof. <laughs> so the only two cars I've turned around have been uh, these Fiat 126 things. Wasn't so hard, was it? No, it's actually not too bad at all. Do I get a night's sleep now? Jeez, I need this on. Is that my shift ended? Maintenance, yeah, I, I probably missed a couple on the car. Mirrors and 
whatever. Yeah, I probably missed a couple. That's fine. A new day has dawned. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I quite like this. It's not bad. Now it's the 17th of April. Today I will instruct you how to search vehicles for contraband. How do you know contraband vehicles are coming through? Right, so who we're we looking for? We're looking for a yellow Zabed. Contraband hide location. Are you finished? Right, so the Zaved is that one. So we're looking for a yellow one of those. Contraband in the cabin. Hmm. And the other guy we're looking for is a guy called Anton, whose partial registration number is BYG. Contraband in the tires. Seriously? Okay, well, I'm going to need a weapon. Guess who's coming through first? Yes, it's a yellow Zabed, guys. And contraband in the cabin. Let's have a look. We've got a big truck coming through as well. Come on through, Zabed. Just looking at the weight of the car there. That back of the car looks really weighted down. Look at the back of the car, how, how weighted down it is. Okay, let me just do a weight check. Please step out of the vehicle, sir. Pick up a knife from the table. Well, he's going to think I'm going to stab him. Where's the kniff? Or is it on the table over there? Well, I wouldn't leave it on the table over there, would I? That'd be silly. And oh, this isn't a table. Hey, you got a knife, buddy? No? <sighs> I'm trying to follow this stupid marker thing. What bloody table? Oh, that table. side and you stop whinging if you didn't bring contraband I wouldn't have to do this Counterfeit money, you little whippersnapper. Who's going to stop him running away anyway? Is Breaking Bad just going to stand there while I do this to his car? <gasps> Guys! Oh man, this guy's Breaking Bad. Yoza, Yoza, Yoza! I'm just making up words now. I'm gonna check the back of these seats. Weapons. 
Is there anything you are not carrying? Like every single seat has got something on it. You, sir, are busted. <laughs> I just stabbed him. <laughs> no, you can't really do that, can you? You're going to blunt the knife. Take off your jacket, your clothes, and your boots, and I know you don't have a motorcycle. Let's have a look here. Well, I can't check the door cards with a knife. Check other parts for more contraband and then arrest the criminal. Uh, what was what was it to drop again? Q. The knife's nearly done anyway. You're under arrest, bud. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll have a doctor treat that wound. You are a naughty, naughty boy. Clinked. Don't let him out, okay? Insufficient money. Okay, whoops. Just to remind you what it sounds like to be in the clink. How do I upload then? I have to drag it all up here first. this? I don't know. This seems like a weird way to do it. It's fine if it stays in there. Continue options. Hmm. This attack must be must be for like if you're going to catch a smuggler that they're going to try and run away. You know, it must be that. Now, what happens to this dude's car? Who's driving the car away? I can't invite the next vehicle. I don't know what that thing's pointing to. Yeah, 
It's too weird. Maybe I need to put the stuff on the shelves. But I really don't know how to do that. Okay, so let's say, whoops, let's say I go to my inventory and I have it in my hand now, okay? Whoops, I have it in my hand. There's no option to like just put it on a shelf and I can drop it or I can throw it, but it all comes to the same thing. Let's have a look and see if it mentions anything in here. Oh, that's cargo. Um. Yeah, I mean. I mean, it doesn't mention anything about how to put them in the in the oops tab. Is how to put them in the uh, storage. But it doesn't seem to want to let me. Like I'm pressing mouse button, both mouse, each mouse button, left and right. I can press Q to drop. You know, but it doesn't really do anything. And every time I pick it up, I've now got to go to inventory and put it into my thing. And all I can think to do is just press T to throw and close the door. But I still think there's an issue in the sky. What to do with this car now? It needs to be driven away or pushed away or something. Obviously can't give the guy the papers back because... Jesus, I don't know what to do here. Maybe, maybe that is what you do. Sent to a labor camp. No car to transfer, labor camp is too far away. Oh, and by the way, if you want all your stuff, it's in the next room. Start uh, just bribe the guard and start dr drilling with a with a spoon. Not really not drilling, but you know. I don't know what to do now. Help. Go for a wee. Yeah. Maybe one day you can afford to expand it. What's that other key that was there then? That weird one. Item extra use. See, that was mouse one as well. Hide item. Why would I need to hide anything? See, I've got drop item and throw item. Yeah, I don't know. 
It's going to be... Maybe these things need to be put on shelves, but I don't know how to do it. I don't know. Like, there's nothing highlighted when you go near a shelf, right? You know, so... I don't know. I don't think you're supposed to put them on the shelves, really, because that means, like, just... What, I have to throw it up there? Does that count? Because I can't get that back now, probably. Oh, yeah, maybe I can. <sighs> okay, let's just pick up a load of stuff. Is that everything? So the one, the one I threw up there, is it actually up there or not? Yeah, it is. So what do I do? Do I throw it from here? <laughs> this is this is messed up. I don't know what to do now. Let's fill up the first six. Honestly, this is... It's getting a bit silly now. It's getting a little bit silly. There you go. Well, damn, it was a label on the door. There you go, look. All right, all right, all right. Um, yeah. Now go ask Aspirant Maskimov. Who the hell's Aspirant Maskimov? This guy, Maximov. Hey, Aspirant. No, this dude. The guy that's about to get hit by a very large arrow. Hey, aspirant. <laughs> Do I take you for a headache or what? Clear the inspection zone. Imagine that. Half-Life. My knife is nearly gone, because I've smashed it up. The condition of my knife's not really much use. All right, let the next one in. No? What now? What have I got to do? You said pick up all the stuff. Well, I've done that. Pick up all the tools from the table. Oh, this as well? What the hell do you want me to do with a pitchfork? What am I supposed to do now? Stab the guy? Oh, yeah, I know what the pitchfork is for. If trucks come through with, like, bales of hay or something, I can poke inside the bales of hay and see if there's any... Yeah, okay. 
Now look at the suspension on the back of this as well. That is severely weighted down and it looks like there's nothing in the truck, you know what I mean? But it could be the fact that he's got flat tyres. So, IF 9124NH oh, What are you wearing? Right, you're not on my hit list, but you do have a flat tyre, so that's no good. I'm assuming your lights are working. Okay. Yeah, yeah, shut up. I'm doing my job. Okay, number plates look like a match. Mirrors. He's got mirrors. He's got a flat tyre, though. He's got a spare tyre. He's got time to change that tyre. How are you doing? Uh, you are one ugly dude. Oh god, he's gonna give it to me on oh, that side. Mm, yes, fuel tank. All right, well, let me have a looky at your dockies. So, vehicle number plate checks out. Ati Padar. Ati Padar, okay, that's a match. Um, Ati Padar, also a match for this. Uh, passport number, numberer. His passport numberer is WTP9. I like that word. 5079, so that number matches with that number. The date is fine. The date is fine there. Uh, yeah, the, the photo. To be honest, I ain't gonna lie, it looks like somebody scribbled on that photo. I don't know about that. It looks like it's been drawn on. Okay, well, he's now got a grass duck, so a grass duck's weight should be 34 curb and 5.8 max. Okay, oops, I keep pressing escape, I know, it's a habit. It's a habit of mine. Let's weigh the thing. 34.80, okay, so that's 80 kilos assumed for the driver. Well, to be honest, your real hair and beard look like it's been looks like it's been drawn on as well. So I'll tell you what I'll do, okay? I'm gonna be nice to you today. My inspection is finished, and you have a flat tire, buddy. Everything else seems to be okay. I'm gonna let you through. I didn't check your stationery, but we'll let that one go. Why are people just driving through with flat tires all the time? All data was correct. Right, guess who we got coming through now? I'm just looking for a number plate. I need a driver called Anton and a partial registration of BYG. Well, it's not this guy. Comrade Commander, yes, Comrade Commander, how are you doing, Barney? Can't I have your documents? I will be the judge of that, buddy. Okay, front tire flat, headlight out, wing damage. Nugdo, 6597, uh, Nugdo, 6597, okay. Okay. Thank you. This reminds me so much of the frontier between Spain and Gibraltar. It's not even funny. How are you doing? You doing good today? Just 
going to check the way to view your uh, vehicle and you're driving a Zaved. So, Ozan Abilov, that is a match. Ozan Abolov, that is not a match. Oh, oh. And your entry permit is out of date, my friend. 9th of April. And guess what? Your passport's out of date. So, <laughs> you ain't getting in. Now I've got to remember all of this now. Okay, uh, yep. Yeah. You think everything's alright? So let me see if I can remember everything. So, name and surname is not correct. Expiration date. Uh, passport number I think checked out. Um, vehicle type, vehicle weight. I didn't check the vehicle weight, but I think it's okay. Registration number is fine. Uh, we have a flat tire. We have a broken light. We have defective bodywork. Oh no, I pressed the wrong thing. No, 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 no. S stop him. Shoot him. No, no. Sugandle. I put, uh, yeah, I got everything right, I think most, well, most of it, but I, I didn't, ah, uh, flip. I, I stamped the wrong stamp. That'll do, my stripey buddy. Marzipan number plate, okay. Vehicle weight. One two ninety. Got a marzipan back plate. Yep. MZP fifty six forty nine AM. MZP fifty six forty nine AM. Do 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 do. Missing f missing front wing there. Broken window. One wing, one window. Okay. Right then, pop by the sailor man. Give me your documents. All right, uh, let's have a look. So he's got a vehicle card that matches. Loose, loose the rock in that matches. Passport number. I've got nothing to compare that against. A Karistan, this is the right colour for that. What's this symbol here? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. A Karistan, that doesn't look right. Yes, this doesn't match with any of these. In fact, let's see if this matches with anything. That looks like a great big R sticking out of a toilet. I know it's just the way my brain works. What can I say? I don't recognize this symbol. That is not an Akaristan symbol. I can tell you that. So you, sir, are not getting in. Everything looks fine here. Even the weight. Let's let's have a look at your car again. It's a Barilla. Is that before or after? I think it's after. La -da -dee, sifting through the pages to keep him waiting. Now hang on a moment. Look at that weight. 1,210 kilos. Add him in, that's 1,290. This guy's got some stuff. There's some stuff in this vehicle, guys. He's got two missing wings and a broken window. So, 
You mind stepping out of the vehicle, please? I don't trust you at all. This vehicle is way too heavy. What are you carrying? I think I've knocked me knife. I might get a fine here if I don't find anything. Oh dear. Get out of my way, man. This vehicle's way too heavy. Can you crouch? Why? Because your vehicle's too heavy, man. 1,600 bloody things. Yeah, Machino and all that stuff. Where could it be? Oh, it says max weight, 1600. And that's max weight, 1700. Yeah, okay. Right. Get in the car. You know what? I don't care. The fact that you're wearing a stripy jumper like that, you deserved it. Right, so now I'm going to do you for busted seats. Ah, oh, not really. So, let me see, what was wrong then? The vehicle weight was wrong. That's all that was wrong. I thought he was, I, I was, I thought that, oh, it was my fault because I thought it was curb weight. So flat tires, I can't book him for those because I did it. Uh, I think he had a broken window. And he denied entry anyway. Get out of here. And if I see you back in this neck of the woods again, I'll chop your leg off. <laughs> For doing that guy's car in, I got a promotion. Okay. All right, John Rambo, come on in. Right. Let's check out your weight, which looks like it says 4580. Right, now if I'm not mistaken, this vehicle is the first one in our vehicle list. Is it? Hello, I would like your papers please. Uh oh, what's this? What's all those diamonds? Can I have your documents? Oh, Pariatko. Yeah, Pariatko. BYG, guys. 
BYG. Anton. He's got... He's got... He's smuggling stuff in the tyres. Oh yeah, we're going to get this dude. The question is which tyres is he smuggling it in? Oh, it looks all nice and empty, doesn't it? Right, so he is driving a larder. Let's see where this is. Well, that's not correct. He's driving an Illich 57. So that's out. If the weight is correct, then he's carrying... Well, the max... No, this is the max weight. So that's wrong. And his name is Anton. The name is wrong. The, the vehicle make and, and weight is wrong. The document is in date. So, uh, and the vehicle registration is wrong. So, vehicle card. Registration, name. Can I fill some of this in? No, I can't. Okay, so we've got a lot of, lot of incorrect details here. Number plate, name, vehicle make, vehicle weight. Everything on that vehicle card is incorrect. What do you think, I'm stupid? Right. Do, 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 do. What are you wearing? Right. Step out of the vehicle, man. If you try to run, I'm going to kill you. Got to be those back tyres. Where's the spare one? I'm going to be busting every tyre you got. You don't have a spare tyre? Okay. Well, well, what do we have here? Yes, you're a little smuggling git, aren't you? How about I stab you with it? Yeah, I know. Your kids are going to go hungry and you're going to boil me up. Carrying anything else? Hmm? Ona ja nie ta pot. Yeah. Ona ja nie ta pot indeed. What a couple of small time crooks you lot are. Party time! I guess the guy doesn't get his papers back. So now I'm going to have to get uh, Mr. Bolovsky here. There you go. So it looks like there's even more to this game. I mean, there's a there's a button for a map, which I haven't got yet. Um, so there's maps, there's 
vehicles where it looks like you can take them to places, the criminals to places. So there's definitely, definitely more to this game than what you've seen. It's kind of cool. It's it's uh, what do you what do you call it? What are, could I say? It's um, it's easy paced. Um, you know, it's 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 something you can just chill out and relax to while you're playing. Um, it's different. I kind of like it. Yeah, I'll recommend this. I don't know how much it is. I'm just going to quickly uh, check that up for you guys. So bear with me. Uh, let's have a look. So, Contraband Police on Steam is... It's out in Q1 2021, so it's not out yet. Uh, so there is no price. Um, but it's planned releases in Q1 2021. Yeah, so you can download the demo and all you're going to see is what I did, so... Um, it looks like there's a closed beta invitation, but that was a while ago. I don't know whether that's now gone. Uh, it looks like we've got some big trucks coming through here as well. So yeah, you can get the free demo, which I've just played through, uh, which you've just seen. So it's going to be, a, I'm sure it's going to play out exactly the same way um, when you play it. So massive spoiler but yeah the game is coming out q1 um and that's it check it out on steam thanks for watching catch you next time